Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another Friday fireside chat that's not in front of the fire, but the whiteboard. I want to throw out some numbers and some situations here. I'm the, the title of this one probably is a little weird. Hopefully it's weird because I want curiosity. So you clicked and watched this, but it's a very, very, very important concept. And I'm extremely excited about this. And I'm extremely grateful to uh, the member of the community that was willing to not only share this with the community as a whole, but also say, yeah, Clay, you can even take it public outside of the community and use it as a, an example. Because it really goes to illustrate what trading is all about. And you're, it's a valid thought for you to think, wait, trading is about losing? Why are you so excited about somebody that lost $1,000? I mean, what, what exactly is going on? Everybody else is always talking about winning and winning and winning. And I realize that, but risk management, risk control, Risk analysis. Have you ever heard me say anything like that before? If you've been on the channel, maybe so. But here we have an awesome example of just how powerful it actually is. A little context here, uh, and this is you know as of right now. So if you're watching this video, you know months from now, then you know this won't mean as much to you. But for those people that are watching this, you know kind of way out in the future, we've had a little ticker symbol this past week. Maybe you've heard of it. Qualcomm, Q-C-O-M, and this thing made a monster move. In fact, we'll probably put a image right up on the chart so you can, or an, an image of the chart up on the screen so you can see it. But point being, monster move. In fact, I read one article out there and it was the biggest day for the stock since 1999. And I think I was either in eighth grade or a freshman in high school, you know that period of time you're like, why do I have hair pit or I ha why do I have hair under my armpits? You know that stage of life, it was a long time ago. I got plenty of hair under my armpits right now, just in case you're wondering. But uh, you think we should edit? Now nah, we'll leave that in, Nate. Right? People got to have a sense of humor, right, Nate? Absolutely. It's a vlog. Okay, cool. Now 1999, so that's kind of the fun fact there. But big move happened. Big move, and you know. It's not fun, but this also happened. And as you see on the screen, fellow member, member Carl lost $1,000. Now here's the interesting thing. Like I said, big move, but within the grand scheme of things, well, we'll just call Carl's loss right about here. And that was where the loss occurred, right around $1,000 as you saw. And this, I mean, this is old school. In fact, I'll put a link down below. But way back when, when I first started the channel and was still actually using the chalkboard, and I think wearing my, my famous white polo, I did a video where I, I tried to start a movement and try to you know change the term. It was a failed movement, by the way. It, it never caught on. But hey, you never know unless you try. But I tried to redefine a stop loss. If you don't even know what a stop loss is, that's just a way to manage risk. And I wanted to kind of quantify that and redefine it as it really shouldn't be looked at as a, a stop loss, but more of a start save. Because that is a moment where you are actually saving money. And to steal a line from uh, one of my favorite people, Benjamin Franklin, a penny saved is a penny earned. So that's why, well, if you stop the losses, then therefore you're starting to save. And that's actually... Well, that's what you want because you don't want things to get bigger and bigger. And that's what Carl did. So here we're gonna try, we're gonna go again for the movement. Let's see if we can now get hashtag a start save started. But this is where Carl's start save occurred. Because after that point, as you saw, more and more and more, and it kept going up. And uh, Carl was good, and I mean, I, I was asking him, other members were asking him, hey, Carl, what would your loss be at now? Oh my goodness, Qualcomm, it keeps going. Carl, what would that loss be at now? And of course, Carl's kind of tracking that too, because you know this is one of those where it feels really good to have taken that loss. And as far as I know right now, this number may be bigger, but I do remember seeing in the chat room, at its peak, Carl would have been like, holy smokes, I might have had a loss of... $4,500. Now, not to insult anybody on the math there, but that is a difference between these. Uh, 
of $3,500. So in other words, because Carl was disciplined and just got out, even though, oh, a thousand bucks, he literally saved himself, his account going deeper, $3,500 more into the hole. So in a bizarre and twisted way, this was actually like a 300% winning trade because a thousand to you know 4,500, that's you know that's over a 300% gain. But in this situation, it was a gain in what direction? It would have been a gain in the the wrong direction for Carl. His loss would have been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But because he got out, because he started saving, and a penny saved is a penny earned. In a weird way, he actually earned $3,500 by being disciplined. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. But a start save. So try to look at that the next time you're, oh, do I really want to hit let it? Do I want to honor my stop loss? Just remember, that could be the, the, the moment where you start saving a whole lot of money because a penny saved is a penny earned. And if you could have stopped the bleeding much sooner than where the bleeding would have gotten a lot worse, you just saved yourself a whole lot of money and therefore, think about it, you don't have to go back and earn that money back. Think, Carl kept the hole, you know, another way to look at it. It's kind of like this, it's like, all right, yeah, there's a little hole that Carl's gotta dig out of now. There's no doubt about that. Or he could have had this that he's now gotta dig out of. Which hole do you think it would take Carl less time to dig out of? I mean, that's kind of a, a rhetorical question. But yeah, a thousand dollar loss, awesome. And a thousand dollar loss that was really basically a 300% winning trade. And if, if, if this can just inspire you or motivate you to, you know, start to use a start save. Now don't go in your broken and be like, where's the start save order? It's still called a stop loss, but I'm trying to teach you a mental trick to maybe if you can do this to yourself to make honoring those stop loss a little bit easier, then hey, any way we can trick the voices in our head or, or make, you know, what we're trying to do as traders visually a little bit more appealing and understandable, then I'm all for it. So the next time you see a loss coming, just remember, you never know. I mean, the hole could go from there to there. However you want to best look at that. If you're just a, a numbers guy, well, you understand those numbers. If you're more visual, let's try to keep those holes as small as possible. So get out there, hashtag start save. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community and let me know if you have any questions.